Hello and welcome to Iron Dinos. This time we're looking at the newest games of gold, Dandara, 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 Dandara. Um, and yeah, it's a 2D. Uh, it's not a platformer. What? Well, I guess in an even more specific way than usual, it is a platformer because in this game you can only move between highlighted spots. So you don't run, you essentially aim at where you're going to go and you jump to that place. Have you guys had a look at this? Very, very briefly. I uh, very it was part of the first level. So I was quite impressed with how easy I found it to move. You aim and shoot yourself about. And that didn't seem too complicated. I'm mean, running at very, very beginning, so it could get much more complicated, I'm sure. And there's a bit of a blast with shooting the weapons thing, and that can move you around a bit as well. But no, not enough to know the layout of the game or what it turns into. But I'm happy with, so, with it so far. So I'm I played half an hour, and I'm not going to play any more of it. Ooh! Oh wow! I mean, I know this looks 100% like my kind of thing. Absolutely. But I don't like the way that I enjoyed the starting bit where there aren't really many enemies or hazards and you can bounce about freely with a, a nice speed and pace mm. but as soon as they started introducing enemies I lost interest in it oh. because it felt like then it was okay so the idea of this is that you're constantly stopping. So you go, you stop, you go, you stop. So you can bounce around and get up quite a speed. Yeah. But yeah. when you're forced to stop because there's an enemy coming past or um, there's a spike, spike on the floor that you're waiting <laughs> to go away, I'm just sitting there doing nothing, slightly aiming and that's not fun to me. That doesn't feel like, like, I don't know if this was, I don't know if this was originally, I know it came out on PC before it came out on the um, consoles, but it kind of feels like it's a mobile game. Oh. In the way it keeps stopping you um, and waiting for an input. Like, I could very much see controlling this. It, it basically controls like Angry Birds. If you ever played Angry Birds. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you... It, it, it's, um... That's perhaps not the most appropriate of, um... Of it, parallels, because you actually aim exactly where you're going and then you click to to aim in that way. I do see the connection now, yes. Yeah, with you. But you, you see what I'm saying. Yeah. Um... It looks to me like the so sort of thing you're you... not watching a really satisfying um, bunch of things falling over and crashing to the floor. <laughs> In this, you're just sitting there doing nothing. So is it like puzzle-based levels where you've basically got to get to the, the the end to get through the door? Is that? It's, there's a great big map. It's yeah, I think it's like a, a Metroidvania. So you pick up items that will give you additional abilities to get you into different areas right okay but I I don't have the patience for it well it, it's not that I don't have the patience for it I didn't have fun with it once so I started getting a little further into it yeah that surprises me I could see me not get into it <laughs> but I thought you would it seems like you're covered too um I'll be honest, after the yeah. 20 minutes or so I played, I like, I, say, I like the general mechanic of moving around, and I can see people doing speed runs and that sort of thing with it, but from what you're saying, that's maybe not possible either, I'm not sure. Um, but I wasn't particularly drawn to go back again. Um, but that was, I thought it was just me. Uh, sadly, this time it's me as well. Oh, do you have to kill the enemies to get through the level, or can you sort of like skip past them? There are... Um, there are things in your way that you have to destroy uh, to get past. And actually, the first enemies you come across in the game will um, basically work as a wall. 
that funnily enough that's okay. actually the point I stopped enjoying the game um, very quickly you get through the first little bit it teaches you movement and quite quickly thereafter you come to an area where um, um, basically your war, your way is barred but the thing barring the way comes right, up okay. barring the way comes up very slowly and then there'll be say to say they look like a pot there'll be a pot on top of a pot on top of a pot blocking your way and one of them will grow, glow green. You shoot that, it turns red, explodes, and removes the barrier. Well, all of that probably takes four to five seconds. And I'm sitting there for four to five seconds, not playing the game while I'm waiting for this shit to load. You've got to charge up to fire your shot, and then you've got to wait for them all to disappear. And that's four or five seconds that I'm not having fun. I feel like I'm not playing the game. And okay. this this yeah. this room is absolutely full of them. That's the bit oh, I got okay. to. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was going to be the one that was like, oh, I'm the petulant child. He hasn't got the time or be bothered with all this. I'm <laughs> quite pleased to not be the only one for a change. Good. Look at the thing. If there was the slightest chance I was going to enjoy it, it's it's oh. got me written all over it, isn't it? I mean, look at it. But yeah, I'm yeah. slightly surprised that you think. <laughs> so let's go positive. Do you like say so the visuals you love, or like at least? Yeah. No. Oh, I mean, what's what's not to like? It looks like every other retro-styled um, platformer. It looks lovely. It's a, it's a style I really like. Yeah. So uh, for the brief bit, of music I remember. Yeah, music's good. Damn it! It's that goddamn gameplay again. 